we present a new system that efficiently combines multi-touch interaction and 3D visualization. Combining immersive 3D visualization and multi-touch inputs raises many specific issues. Some issues are related to visualizing both the 3D content and the hands. Content occlusion, depth collision, convergence without accommodation. Selection may be ambiguous and 3D interaction tasks may be hard to complete. With our setup, the user directly interacts on the 2D touch screen. The 3D object can be taken out of the surface, giving the impression to float above the user's hand. The user can take full advantage of an immersive 3D visualization. The hands do not occlude the 3D object. Eye accommodation clues are therefore controlled as well as convergence. Technically, a stereoscopic screen is fixed on top of the system. The display is reflected on a semi-transparent mirror. Hence, the user perceives the stereoscopic content as if it were displayed between the touch screen and the mirror. We map the stereoscopic virtual environment with the physical touch screen so that the two displays are merged within a uniform visualization space. The user benefits from the whole potential of standard multi-touch interaction. In addition, we have designed a specific transformation widget for manipulating 3D objects floating above the surface. Both the 3D object and the widget are linked with the virtual ray. Standard RST gestures are mapped to X and Y translations, rotation around the Z-axis, and uniform scaling. The transformation widget also supports X and Y rotations using dedicated virtual rods. Likewise, directional scaling is supported by virtual handles. For Z translation and scaling, we used an approach inspired from the balloon metaphor. Hence, the user benefits from the advantages of indirect touch input while supporting a near-direct 3D interaction. Such a user interface helps to easily control all degrees of freedom without disturbing the visualization of 3D objects. In this section, we present a virtual archaeology scenario. The archaeologist first needs to quickly access 3D models stored in a database. Then, he may either arrange models layout, or he may focus on specific parts. And while observing objects under various angles, he should not be disturbed by his own hands. Standard 2D widgets can still be used efficiently while being immersed in the 3D virtual environment. Biomanual interaction is also required to be able to experiment with the assembly of several parts. The setup combines intuitive 3D manipulation and comfortable immersive visualization. Standard and well-known interface elements can jointly be used within the immersive environment while the 3D objects are manipulated. Thank you for your attention.